All right, hi everybody, John Meadows here, and today I'm gonna to show you how to make something really cool, salmon patties. So, I think you're gonna dig these. You're gonna to get to use some canned salmon, some breadcrumbs, a little egg. We're gonna make some really cool sandwiches. If you don't like salmon, just hang in there, hang with me. I think you are gonna like these. So we're going to start off with our canned salmon here. Wild red sockeye salmon. I've already drained the liquid out, so now we have the salmon in here. This is, um, there's seven servings in this, and each serving has 13 grams of protein and seven grams of fat. So, you know, I would call that more like three servings for most of us. Here's the salmon. We're gonna put it in here. Okay, there's the egg. I actually didn't even get any shell in there, which is good for me. We're gonna put half a cup of breadcrumbs in here, garlic and herb. And we're gonna put that in there. Now the fun part begins. Now it's time to get your hands dirty. So we're gonna mix it all up and we're gonna make patties. I don't know if I'm gonna make three patties or four. We'll see. So I found out this recipe from my wife who used to make salmon burgers for me because it's a good way to get a lot of salmon down easily and it tastes good. If you find that it's too dry, you can put the salmon juice, which we'd already drained. That's what this is right here. But this actually, the texture looks pretty good. So I'm just mixing it up. I'm getting the egg mixed up in it. I'm mixing up the breadcrumbs. There's still some breadcrumbs on the bottom, so. But the texture actually looks pretty moist, see that? So that's pretty good. So the interesting thing is, back in the 80s and 90s, we were taught that you didn't spice anything. You eat everything plain. That's, that meant you were hardcore, and if you put spices in anything, that meant you were soft. You weren't tough enough. Things changed, obviously, for the better, and we know now that things like salt are actually good for you. We know that herbs are actually good for you. So there's no reason why you should be eating your food plain and bland. Like, there's literally no reason for it. So this is looking really good. See how it's looking now? I think this is actually gonna be perfect. All right, so we're gonna heat up the skillet. We're gonna use some coconut oil. Coconut oil is um, supposed to be a superfood. It is antiviral, antimicrobial, so it's, um, it does have some health qualities to it as long as it's not hydrogenated. Coconut oil is not stable in really high heats, contrary to what people think, but we're just doing a medium heat for a short amount of time, so I'm okay with that. I don't use a whole lot. I just put a little bit in here, and then I just move it around. That looks like a pretty good sized burger. I think we're probably gonna get three burgers here. That's a pretty thick burger. So we're gonna brown it and then flip it over. Ooh, look at that, that looks good. Okay, I think they're good to go. They're nice and brown. So I'm gonna turn it off. Get our sourdough bread. One burger. Yeah, this only took, what, 10 minutes, if that. I don't even think it took 10 minutes. All right, but now the taste test. So, hopefully it's good. This tastes so good. Even if you don't like fish, these taste so good. Cooking doesn't have to be that complex. Like, I can't do fancy cooking. I'm not even capable of it. Um, but this, even for me, this is something that's really simple and it's highly nutritious. Now, this is probably all I'm gonna have for my main course. I don't eat as much now as I used to because now, at my age, I'm more interested in maintaining. Back in my younger years, if I was still trying to put on weight, and some of you guys, if you're still trying to put on some muscle, I'd probably eat two of these burgers. 
and that's going to load you up pretty good. And again, these are loaded with omega threes too, which I'm a, I'm a big fan of. So a real high quality protein, real high quality fat. All right, <laughs> taste test. Pretty good? That's pretty good. When you can get a 10 year old to like salmon, I think that's pretty impressive. So for dessert, because you have to have dessert at dinner, we're gonna have sorbet, black cherry sorbet. This is my favorite flavor of sorbet. It's basically just like a puree. It's like a fruit puree, but uh, it's real light, digest real easy. Man, I love this stuff. It's so good. My goal is to only eat a fourth of it, but I may end up eating the whole thing. If I do, I'm probably gonna have a stomach ache, but this is dessert. Try black cherry sorbet, it's very good. All right, so I hope you enjoyed that. Very simple recipe, just a couple ingredients, salmon burgers, healthy fats, healthy protein, good amount of carbs. Then we had a dessert for even more carbs. But um, again, your food should taste great, should never be bland, and fish can sometimes be hard to cook and make taste good too. But so this is an easy way to do it. We did this in you know five to ten minutes instead of you know twenty to forty minutes. So give this recipe a shot, and as always, make sure you subscribe below. Yeah.